One of the biggest problems with JavaScript is that everything lives in a so-called global namespace. And that means that anything that you declare needs to have a unique name. Otherwise, the latest thing that you declare is going to overwrite whatever comes before it. So here I have a JavaScript function called foo. And now I declare a variable foo. And when I log this out, foo is now the variable. And as you can see, the problem is that they have the same name. And you have to be careful with this. For smaller projects, it's not a problem. But when you get into larger and larger projects, you will find that getting a new unique name for everything gets really tricky. One of the most powerful constructs that we have in JavaScript is self-invoking functions, and you use these to create a module. So a module is just a piece of logic or a set of functions and variables that are namespaced under some name. And it sounds weird, but what it basically means is that you create a variable called my module, and you create a pair parentheses and then you do this weird syntax here you call those parentheses and you give them a anonymous function and all this is saying is run this function as soon as you hit it so as soon as the browser comes to this line here it will immediately call the function and return whatever it's going to return and in this case it's just an object with a pair of variables and a function now you might wonder why do I do this well simply put what this does is that I can now call this function my func. I can have a hundred my funks, and as long as I have different modules, this name will never collide with anything else on the page because it's safely hidden away under this name. And that means that as long as my module name is unique, my code is safe. So remember this, it's extremely important. As your projects get bigger, you're going to find this extremely useful.